Okay, greetings. I think we're together here. <laughs> I always have to remember to tilt my screen because I haven't tilted back because I, I can't see with the glasses that I wear. Um, if, if I don't have my if I don't have my uh, 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 MacBook screen tilted way back. Um, anyway, well, welcome. This is uh, mini lesson five. It's going to be kind of um, short on my end as far as me talking. Uh, I've got about seven or eight short videos I want you to watch that I have questions um, and it kind of shows some different types of sports or some sports, especially here in Kansas City. Um, hockey is uh, plays prominent towards the end, but we're looking at wingsuit jumping, uh, base jumping, which you'll find out what base jumping is in, in this. Uh, in, in fact, once we get to the second slide and um, you'll do some calculations and you'll look at um, oh, I forgot to put the Felix Baumgartner question on your on your thing. I'll have to go back and add that because we're, we're going to definitely put that in there. Um, anyway, to your uh, quiz that um, or to your little uh, lesson quiz that goes with this. So I don't want to take a whole lot of time doing this because you've got videos to watch and watch them because they're really fascinating. The 60 minutes one, um, I know you're going to look, you're going to. Um, load that and go 41 minutes. I don't want to sit here for 41 minutes. Just get to where the wingsuit jumping is. It starts on like minute one and goes like minute 14 or something like that. And you'll find it, that it's pretty fascinating stuff. In fact, if you watch that entire video, you'll go, wow, this is some cool stuff. And there's a guy who does studies, uh, great white sharks. And then there's the, the guys who do the wingsuit jumping. And then there's a kid who does, and we'll look at him later too. So you'll, you'll see this a video again. We'll look at the kid who does the rock climbing, um, uh, the slow rock climbing, and he, and he does amazing things. I mean, he, he's a savant at it. So anyway, so keep that in mind, and let's go ahead and get started. We're, uh, I know we're, we're starting with the two energies, um, and uh, let's see, do I have anything else? I do this all the time in lectures. I, I, I think of things I might want to say. Um, most of you are working very diligently and doing a very good job. Some of you Let's get on it. Of course, if you're seeing this just now and you're one of those people, it's too late for you to get on it probably anyway. But anyway, because um, I've, I've got, we, we got to get going now. That, you know, um, So anyway, enjoy this. this. This will be a nice short lesson for you. It took me forever to put together because I'm rebuilt. I, I, as I've said before, I'm uh, building this plane as we're flying it. So it takes me a while sometimes to put these lessons together. And I'll have one, I'll have another short lesson for you tomorrow on potential energy. Um, and today we're looking more at potential energy because we're climbing up high. When, whenever you raise some, lift something up high, you're raising its gravitational potential energy and it's getting ready to do work. In other words, once you get on the climb all the way up on that diving board and then jump off, you're ready to jump off and you're going to turn all that extra energy that you, that you use to get you up there to turn into speed as you come hurtling towards the water. All right. Kind of fun stuff. So. We will, uh, let's go ahead and get started, and, and I'll knock my mug off here, and we'll talk about energy, okay? And we'll get through this first slide, because energy is basically, here we are, energy comes in two forms. This is one of your first questions on your homework. Uh, energy, kinetic energy, energy of motion, and potential energy that is stored up, for example, in a battery or a spring, or if I'm up higher and I'm going to go lower, okay? The equation for kinetic energy is one half mv squared. I think we looked at Usain Bolt in the last uh, homework assignment, and, and this is a different one uh, where he ran 2.4 meters per second, calculated his run um, in kinetic energy. So I think we did that. We saw that good old Usain Bolt had 5,000 joules of energy. So he was like um, uh, 50 100 watt light bulbs is the amount of energy that he he kinetic energy he had uh, and then we look at the kinetic energy of this Barabas TKR and it's got a mass of 1230 kilograms I think we looked at all this stuff in the last one and it's 8.86 megajoules okay so base jumping that's one of the questions you'll have let's get through this one then I'll stop here and, and call it um, number one okay building antenna span a bridge or an arch. B is for building. I think I said, oh, I got to go fix the 
stupid thing. And I was like, wait a minute, what's the difference between a bridge? So it's a building, you're jumping off a building, span, arch, and earth, a cliff, or some other natural formation, like El Capitan, or the Eiffel Tower. People, so base jumping without a parachute, uh, without a parachute, a person would reach velocity of 200 miles per hour rather quickly. And then you reach, and then actually you reach terminal speed. I forgot about that when I was doing some other calculations. So uh, calculate, so we want to calculate his kinetic energy upon landing. His energy would be dissipated into the person's body. He's not good. That's why people use parachutes. But instead of parachutes, there's this wingsuit flying. However, so go ahead and look at the videos on the wingsuit flying. I don't have these loaded. In fact, um, these are not available um, to us. Uh, so... But I've loaded some others on wingsuit flying. I want you to watch those now.